Welcome back to my channel, everyone. It's me, your girl, Leah Lee, and we are back with another video, obviously. I hope everyone is enjoying this seasonal time with their family and are able to. I know, you know, COVID is running rampant right now all over again, which is unfortunate. I hope everyone is staying safe, and I hope you all enjoy this video. This is a returning client of mine. She first received the dermaplaning facial and was ecstatic about her results. And we are back now for just a follow-up appointment right before the holidays. So this is like a little pick-me-up. And I'm gonna start off by using Images Clear Cell Salicylic Cleanser. I'm definitely, without a doubt, going to use this cleanser to start off this treatment today. This is gonna help with the breakouts that she's experiencing and try to help to minimize that and get that under control as well so i have been manipulating and getting the gel cleanser good into the skin with my hands and then i'll shortly bring in the sponges afterwards this kind of just helps me get out the product everywhere before i bring in the sponges because i do you know put the product in my hands and not on the sponges in the beginning Here the sponges are and look at me go. We are getting this cleanser good and scrubbed into her skin, which is necessary and she's enjoying it. If by chance you are new to my channel, I typically cleanse for two to three minutes with each cleanser. This is the first cleanser and I'll shortly be bringing in the second cleanser. Two to three minutes may sound like a lengthy time for a cleanse, but just remember when you come into an esthetician's business and you are receiving a facial this is a top tier professional treatment this is not your everyday at home 60 second facial cleanse in the a.m and in the p.m this is a power wash for your face as if you were going to an exclusive luxurious car wash for your vehicle so just think of your skin as being luxurious and only wanting the best products on your skin when you're coming to get a facial. That's what, you, that's what you're paying for. You're paying for the best products, the best ingredients, and the best experience. Moving into the second cleanse, I'm going to be using Skin Scripts Green Tea Citrus Cleanser. This is amazing. I love this cleanser. I love this line. You all know that. Um, those who are familiar with my channel and with my videos, I brag about my products consistently, of course. And this cleanser is for your overall, everyone can use this cleanser, but I just truly like this for those that may have sensitive skin, any issues with their skin at all, where they're a little on edge about what products to use. This is like kind of like the comfort zone, but it also does great at brightening and evening the skin tone out. Hot towel vibes, of course one of the best parts of the facials for the clients of course and um yeah that's simply what is going on right now nothing new to it nothing extravagant just a wonderful hot towel and i don't know if y'all had seen a couple minutes ago we had accidentally got some soap in her eyes and i say we because yes you know i am the professional i am applying the product and maneuvering it but at the same time my client um, she's a busy woman and she was on her phone and she was like, oh my goodness, I should have shut my eyes. So um, it was like a two-way relationship. We, you know, made it happen together and we fixed it together. So that's what you see me fixing right now to make sure that that soap was, you know, out of her eyes as much as possible. Going in with the one and only Lemon Zest Enzyme from Skin Script. My favorite, of course. You guys know this. This is a brightening and hydrating enzyme. It has many brightening properties as far as our butane and colgic acid, lactic acid, glycolic acid. It does wonders at exfoliating, hydrating the skin, brightening the skin. The list can go on and on for days. Um, this is a tingly enzyme, of course, with steam. Sometimes clients prefer it to be um, on the skin without steam. Some can, you know, withstand the tingle. It just depends and it varies 
you know, with each client. So you'll see me just applying this regularly here. And I just, you know, reiterate through the whole time. Let me know if it becomes too hot, too tingly. But she was a G. She she can withstand the, the tingle. I won't say burn because it doesn't burn, but it she can withstand it. Oh my goodness, y'all. Look at my fan. She's smancy. Skin script to Klein brush. When I tell y'all, I am so tempted to buy every single brush from Skin Script. Oh my goodness. So y'all know regularly I use my brushes from Amazon, from local, you know, supply stores that sell esthetician products, all that. Listen, none, zero of them compare to this Skin Script brush. And I'm not just saying this. This was gifted to me. Um, through a Christmas package that you know I had purchased from Skin Script, and sometimes they throw like little goodies in there. Oh my goodness, this brush and a nice diamond pen was in there. Oh my goodness, this brush is everything. It is the softest brush I have ever felt. If y'all do not own one of these, I highly recommend for you to purchase one. This Skin Script one is so sturdy. I love the clear handle just just good okay yeah it's time to remove this enzyme so that's what we're doing right now i'm removing with cool to lukewarm water and that's just what we're doing next we are going to be getting into the extractions so right away i am on the nose because there was not much to film elsewhere on her skin um she doesn't really have acneic prone skin but she does have some hormonal breakouts every now and again when it's that time of the month um you know stress can activate breakouts hormones all that diet we all know so i am going to extract her nose really quickly because we all know it is super super painful the other parts of her face that i'm going to extract were just some blackheads some acne that was under the skin that i noticed and that's pretty much it Honestly, I am not sure how I did not film the application of the mask. What mask I did use on her is the Winter Mint Mask from Skin Script. It promotes hydration, calming of the skin, and yeah, I don't know how I missed the application process. Sorry about that. A little bit about this mask because I'm not sure if I've actually gone into detail about this mask. I've just added it into the treatment room because it is a limited edition for the holiday season. It um, has shea butter in it, niacinamide to soothe inflamed and moisturize the skin as I just mentioned. It also has um, cloudberry seed oil which is rich in antioxidants and essential fatty acids. This is going to support the skin health immensely. A couple highlighted ingredients are also the honeysuckle and passion flower, which provide an anti-aging benefit for a healthy, nourished skin, which is essential. We all want healthy looking plump skin. And of course, it also has peppermint, which has a cooling and firming effect, which is amazing. It does feel, and it can feel a little like menthol or tingle, Slight, slight, slight if it does, but it is there. Now, right here, this is something that I'm not sure if I actually have filmed it and put up on my channel. I am about to do some brows, y'all. So I am wiping her eyebrows at the moment with alcohol to make sure they are nice and cleansed and they don't have any of a barrier that will, you know, mess up the tinting process. So I am cleansing with the alcohol and I am using the intensive brow um, tint. That's all I'm using. I'm using the dark brown and the, I think it's black. Um, I think it's actually black. Uh, and I mix those two together. And I let that sit on for approximately like, honestly, like 15 minutes because tint is super temporary depending on the person's skin type, depending on their skin routine, you know, can affect the longevity of how long the tint is going to last. So yeah, y'all hope y'all enjoy this. If y'all have any questions, please leave them down below. My client has extremely sensitive skin when it comes to waxing like the over the top swelling 
you know, effect when she gets waxed on her brows. So she does not get waxed on her face at all. Um, and I just do tweeze work and I clean up as much as I can. So now that the tint is off, I'm going to be using the Skin Script Citrus Sea Nourishing Cream. And that is going to be followed up with the Prevention Plus Daily Matte Moisturizer. Now, let me tell y'all something. I have been having a lot of estheticians reach out, just inquire about why they are experiencing a clumping or rolling up while using the image sunscreen. This sunscreen is tricky and it's honestly not the only one. Sunscreen can be a tricky, tricky product to blend well with your moisturizers or serums. And finding that right combination is essential to having a flawless application of sunscreen. And I knew, I knew that these two products did not mix well. And I don't know how it slipped my mind or I don't know how I thought this was just going to work this one day. I don't know. But you'll see me eventually wipe this, you know, product off with a toner. I use the cucumber toner with, you know, skin script. And... I just noticed it clumping up and I'm like, uh-uh, I can't let my girl out of this room with her face looking crazy. So I removed that and I ended up going back and using Skin Scripts Hydrating Moisturizing Moisturizer and the Image Daily Matte SPF. Those are a great pair together. I use it on myself and I use it on my clients consistently and I know that those products complement each other. Um, I really haven't figured out the science behind why products clump together. It obviously has something to do with the chemistry, the ingredients, and them just canceling out each other pretty much. So if you ever have that situation occur, just slow down. Do not panic. Just let your clients know, hey, I just mixed two products together that don't mix. They're clumping and I don't want you leaving out like this. Sometimes you don't even have to say all of that. You just have to work swiftly and confidently and they'll so appreciate that i'm telling you they are so um without a doubt just take your time don't panic do not panic it is okay and look at this flawless flawless application she looks so great and i'm going to finish this off with the image or medic lip balancing complex oh voila look at my girl she has some popping brows for the holidays and some popping skin and lips thank you so much you guys for watching this video if you enjoyed it you know what to do smash the thumbs up button for me subscribe turn my notifications on and share this video with your esthetician friends your family Anybody who is obsessed with skincare, thank you so much. And definitely comment down below. Happy holidays, everybody. And I will see y'all soon.